Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa and I've got a very spicy treat for you guys today. This <laughs> is Junkrat. However, what we're going to do in this video is take a look at this game. This is a pro level game. Well, it's th these are not professional teams, but they are professional players. You can probably notice uh, quite a few names here like, you know, Clone Man, Logix, uh, Tavik, people like that. There's a ton of people here. If you want to check out any of these guys, uh, check the video description. There are links to their Twitters and stuff there so you can go and follow them. However, what we're going to do in this video is talk about Junkrat because you'll see both teams are playing Junkrat. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is this is Iconvolve. This is a Junkrat map. And towards the end of this video, what we will do is take a look at me playing Junkrat um, on one of my other accounts just to see, you know, if this will translate into an actual real game. Because these games, yes, they're real, but obviously these players are phenomenally good. Check this out. This is the power of Junkrat. And this is why I'm a little bit worried. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. Logics with a triple kill there. With an insane rip tire. And that's why this is... Like, I was about to type in the chat like, holy mother of God. Um, but that's why this is a Junkrat map, yeah. You can use this new rip tire. So let me just explain what the Junkrat changes are. So he's got uh, an additional concussion mine. So he can throw two concussion mines out and blow them up. This means he can put one on the floor. He can jump in the air. He can detonate one, then detonate one again. And when I say put one on the floor, I mean just put one down and wait for the cooldown. So he can actually move quite fast, Junkrat. However, the biggest change is to Riptire. Riptire now moves faster, and it has no limit on the amount of walls that it can climb. What I mean by this is it will just keep climbing, provided it can, and there's nothing in the way. Going up and up and up and up and up. So on Iconvolve, you can do what Logix just did and fire the Junkrat Riptire over the top and blow the entire enemy team up. However, 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 are we going into an insane Junkrat meta? Uh, maybe, but only on certain maps. Like, what it's looking like right now, it's very early in Season 6. I mean, it's literally just started Season 6, has. But Junkrat seems very, very powerful on certain points. And the games that I've played with him today have been um, quite ridiculous. So we can see Logic's going for this again. You know, just sort of chilling, just trying to find a target. He didn't mind, manage to find a target there. Looks like Tavik managed to take out, or Tavik managed to take out um, his Riptide there, which is unfortunate. But you can see this sort of warfare back and forward. But look at the teams. Look at what's going on here. We're seeing Reinhardt. I'm seeing a lot of Reinhardt in competitive as well. Um, but also we're seeing Zarya as well. This is because Zarya works very well against the Junkrat. Because Junkrat gives Zarya free charge and so he can almost fire the damage back. So are we going into this crazy Junkrat meta? I don't know. Like I just said, I'm not really too sure. But what we're going to do now is take a look in more detail on what's actually going on here with these two players in question. So Tavik and um, Logix playing the Junkrat. Uh, it's, it, it is very much... He is the spam rat, right? You just you just spam chokes with him. If you're not doing anything with Junkrat, you're not playing him correctly. What you should be doing is always firing, always doing something. You'll notice the Mercy players as well are damage boosting the Junkrats most of the time because it makes sense because they will do more damage. So this is very simplistic. Like Anybody can do this, but you'll notice that Logix did put a kind of cute trap down on the side there. Like putting his traps in positions where... You know, maybe people will jump on top of them. He's always doubling them up with a concussion mine. And he's going for a Riptide. Now, this is a, uh, again, a bit of an insane attempt at a Riptide. It doesn't, well, spoilers, it doesn't quite work out, I don't think. I think he just detonates it. But what he was trying to do there was flick it off the roof again. Because this thing, it just, it, it seems to carry momentum when it's running up walls. And you jump with it, it's just ridiculous. Like, the amount of Riptides you just see coming out of the sky now and blowing up your whole team is utterly ridiculous. And this is where a ton of power for Junkrat is coming from. Because I think Junkrat is kind of following the trend that I thought he would follow uh, in my Season 6 meta kind of guesswork video. Where he's just better at what he does but his ultimate is really damn good and you can use this in loads of situations like i watched the pros play on um watchpoint gibraltar uh i focused heavily on the mercy players in that video so what i think i'll do for us is put that together and analyze that and see what's going on um, the way the pros are playing because it was a really funky game to watch um but there was junkrat in that game and junkrat was still kind of effective because the rip tire is pretty much unstoppable like you can shoot it down sure but if the junkrat's clever it's going to be really really hard and this rip tire is so quick it's just going to hit your team and do massive damage. So if we go back to looking at the way Tavik is playing here, it, it's just spam, right? Spam rat. It doesn't matter. Come at me, Reinhardt. It's cool. Spam, spam. Kind of got caught on the steps. It's okay. Throw concussion bombs out. Uh, oh, well, con concussion mines. It's just... He is so, like, fun to play now. It's kind of like the D.Va changes, right? She's fun. But D.Va is not too effective right now on the PTR. Um, obviously on live servers, Diva is still Diva, and this is PTR as well, guys. So it's the new Mercy we're looking at here as well. Um, but this Junkrat is obviously live right now in competitive. Um, he wasn't as of the recording of this because this was done the day before competitive went live. Um, but you can see Junkrat is not like a troll kind of pick anymore. I mean, look at this Riptide. Look at it. 
Look at I mean look at it. What? I mean that, that like in the past that would not have got a kill. So what we're looking at here is a hero with a, an ultimate which has gone from being probably the worst ultimate in the game because it was so slow, it was so easy to shoot down, to something which it's not a guaranteed kill, but it's a it's almost like I don't know, if it, it feels like a 70% chance of a kill, at least one kill. And you, you, and you you know you'll probably get more than one kill, which is kind of the crazy thing. But it is early days. Like when people start adapting to playing against this junkrat, maybe they'll take it out. But this is what's starting to worry me, right? How do you adapt to take out this rip tire? Because if you've got a soldier, which there's no soldiers on either team. Well, there is um, on the blue team. So Louis the soldier there. Um, yeah, maybe he could shoot down to Vix rip tire, but it, it's like you don't know where it's coming from. It, it could just be coming from anywhere. Yeah, you can hear it with a directional sound and be like, okay, it's coming from the right. But you don't know if it's coming from, like, lower or higher. It's just, just crazy. It's like, it's insane. Junkrat is doing a ton of damage. I've already seen as well in competitive so far, people just going like, oh my god, we're in the Junkrat meta. Uh, I don't want to say we're in Junkrat meta, but I think he's way more effective on the maps he was kind of effective on. Like, Eichenwald, he was always effective on the first point, right? Or Eichenwalder. He was always effective. Is it Eichenwalder? I think it is, my German friends. I was told in uh, games comment it's Eichenwalder. But Eichenwald is fine, I guess. Um, he's just way more effective on the maps where he was kind of effective before anyway. But his ultimate just gives him this extra layer of like, oh, it's okay having a Junkrat because we know he'll get a kill. You'll notice he fed a load of charge there into the Zari, which isn't great. You can see the chat there. So Vainless, one of the pro support players, he plays for the, um, I think he played for the German national team. Um, but he is like, oh my god, this rip tire is so quick. It is really, really fast, and it looks like Logix gets booped off the edge, and down he goes into the abyss. But it is quick. And what we can learn from watching this, because I know like some of you guys out there be like, well, Stein, these are just pros playing. Like, who cares? And yeah, like, who really does care about pros playing? Like, watching pros play is not going to make us better players, or not necessarily going to change our meta in a way. I mean, it kind of does because we tend to copy what they're doing because they're at like the highest level of the game and if they're doing something right then maybe we can kind of do it as well um but it's just like it gives us an idea of this junkrat and how he is not trash like i've played maybe 12 games uh today not fully junkrat games but i've played them with like um a bit of junkrat if i could and nobody at any point was like get off the junkrat I tell you what, right now in Season 5, you would have been told to get the hell off the Junkrat. You are the worst player ever. You're throwing the game, get off the Junkrat. It's just no longer the case now. It's because his Riptide will just secure you kills. Like, the rest of Junkrat is pretty much the same. Yeah, he's got an extra bomb, an extra concussion mine, which means a bit more damage at close range. It also means more movement for him, which is great. Because you don't want to get close to Junkrat because he's going to pump loads of damage into you. Anyway, let's take a look at this in a real-world environment. This is the old Spitfire account I'm going to take a look at now, which I renamed Stylosa. I didn't actually play this account in Season 5. Um, I had to rename it Stylosa for World Cup stuff because they wanted like a, an account with the name Stylosa, and hilariously, I didn't actually have, well, an account with the name Stylosa. So what we're going to see here is Temple of Anubis, first point, defense. And again, this is a Junkrat map. Like This is somewhere where I would play Junkrat anyway. So I've set up my Junkrat Mine combo, killed the Genji immediately, and I'm just going to start spamming. But what I kind of failed to realise is, look, I've got a Concussion Mine there. I could have threw that in as well for extra damage. I mean, this is pretty pretty standard kind of thing you would do on Temple of Anubis, right? Junkrat can work on this map, but he always has worked on this map. Um, but now he's just way more effective. And you'll see some cute uses of uh, Riptire in this video. But look, if they want to stand there and let me spam them, I don't mind spamming them. I've got a Diva Defense Matrix on me there, which, of course, this is the old Diva still. Um, we don't have the PTR Diva on live right now. Um, so she's got the four second defense matrix so you feel really safe and I don't mind spamming into there because look at my ultimate look at this like, I, I mean how fast did I charge that ultimate and now I can pop my rip tire and throw it for, watch this, this look at this that's basically rip tire now you can't stop rip tire it's coming in and it's going to destroy you the only way you can stop it is if you just drive it on the floor and you know people can attack it quite easily with well their basic attacks what you need to do with rip tire is be really clever look at the chat nerf Junkrat game please please I mean that's that guy's just being a bit salty but look another kill but all I'm doing is spamming into the choke. The enemy team are not really coordinated, and that's their fault, right? If they want to let me spam them, then that's cool. Also, I've got a golden Junkrat weapon, because I just thought, why not? Like, I love Junkrat, so screw it. Let's just buy it. Um, but yeah, like, I think when it comes down to real-world application of this Junkrat, he is just better on the maps where he was good anyway. I don't think you can just play him all of the time. You can kind of for, like, the shock value, but there's a lot of maps where there's too much open space, and Junkrat is just going to get taken out by... People like Genji is going to get taken out by Tracer, is going to get taken out by McCree, is going to get taken out by Soldier, Widowmaker, you know, you see a lot of Widow now. There's actually a Widow on the enemy team here and I'm kind of frightened of her. I don't really want to get taken out because that probably would be quite bad. But again, look, if they just want to move into this room, I can spam into it. 
and uh, I get killed by a nano boosted Genji Blade. I mean, that was probably bad positioning off me there. I shouldn't have got sucked into the fight there. I should have just stayed at the back and kept shelling in because there's no need for me to be there, really. Um, so that was kind of my fault. But yeah, guys, this Junkrat is... Uh, I like this Junkrat, but I've always liked Junkrat. But I don't feel like he's OP. But I can understand why some people might initially think that with a knee-jerk reaction. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Are you playing Junkrat? Are you a Junkrat main? Have you been playing like... See, what was that Widow doing there? Like, whatever. I've got ripped high, but I've died. In fact, we'll just run this a little bit longer because we'll go and show you the a little bit of the second point on Temple of Anubis. Because, again, this is a point where I would play Junkrat. And just to recap where I would play Junkrat before, it would be Dorado first point defense, Temple of Anubis first point, and it would be um, Shrine on no sorry sanctum on the pole that's where i play junkrat you can still play junkrat there right now and he's just way more effective but you can kind of be a bit cheekier now with junkrat you can stay on him a bit longer like i would normally swap from junkrat here but it's like no i may as well stay on him because i've got rip tire that's basically a kill so what i'm trying to do here is get a kill you'll notice i get killed i think in this yeah i get killed and i didn't really kill anybody with the Riptide. That's because I threw the Riptide into the enemy, which is not what I should have done. I should have actually used the verticality of the Riptide, sort of ran up the columns, dropped down and tried to take people out like that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video at this. Junkrat, I don't think he's OP. I don't think. I don't think he's... If this is the Junkrat meta, I don't think. Um, it's still early days, but Riptide is a crazy, powerful ultimate. Alright guys, I've been Stylo, so this is Unit Lost. If you enjoyed the video, then like the video, subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. And I hope you enjoyed some of the pro Junkrat gameplay at the start of this video. Catch you next time, guys. Toodaloo.